nope, 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 nope. Welcome back, folks. <sighs> oh, sorry about that. Then. Sorry about that impromptu sorry. commercial break. Uh, people just need to be slapped upside the head, told to shut up and sit down while the GM did his stuff. Yes, Master. Anyway, let's see here. So, we just set the rave on fire. Yeah. We don't that need no nice. we don't need no water, let the motherfuckers burn. Disco in fan hell. <laughs> that works too. Taking the joke out from right under my feet. So, anyway, Vadim, what are you doing? Um, besides internally screaming? Well, everyone's doing that right now. No, they're externally screaming. Well, yeah, the goblins the goblins are externally screaming, yes. Um Sorry, Vadim is just going to roll his eyes with a sigh and start heading this way. There I put some of the doors up. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no. I just cra I cracked my spine. Oh, uh, I thought Ow. the ice came through my mic loud. Nah, I, I just I popped my spine in a good way. So, he's going to check these first two doors that he came to. Okay, give me one second, please. So, DB, DB, D4B and D4D. Jesus, fuck me, Christ. Try north first. Uh, okay. So that's going to be B. If I can find B. Where are my alphabets? Ah, here we go. In the cereal aisle. <laughs> Okay, Nobody so let's gets see that here. joke anymore. I miss alphabet cereal. That's so nice. Stuff with the shit. Catalogs, oh, man. Holy crap. Why do they have to discontinue it? That and Booberry. Fucking miss Booberry. Wait, they discontinued Booberry? Yeah, anyway. It's been discontinued for a long <laughs> Damn it. Too bad Ipen's not a tiefling. Come <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit. Stuff. Reasons. Stuff and things. I'm going to have to tell me after. Redacted. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently an elixir of love is cheap ale laced with lavender. Yeah. Okay, so... And the door's unlocked. Because I'm not reading right. anything on this damn thing that says it's locked. Well, in that case, go ahead and search the room. Also doesn't state that the occupant of the room is... Oh, no. Actually, it says he's in there. Uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna... I'm turning on the grid only so I can get size down, okay? You know, that uh, might have might have been important to know that when I rolled that excellent, excellent perception check. You did roll a perception check. No, no, the one before we had exo echo location. Oh, okay. But that's okay. If he's in here, he won't be for long. Oh. Hmm. Was yeah, this awkward. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, uh, head back a bit. Yeah, uh, I'll allow you to go. But I'll, I'll allow you to go here. 
And then the guy goes, I can see your health meter through the door. Well, that's awkward. Reaches up, grabs, reaches up, grabs his health bar, beats the guy over the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Deadpool. That's what I thought, too. I was like, okay. Okay, so... Auric HP is going to be that. There you go. <coughs> you hear shuffling. You hear shuffling inside and what sounds like the crunching of bread. Hmm. Apparently, though, you don't have to fight this guy. Oh? <laughs> Something we don't get to fight? Well... Well, for the moment, since Vadim is hearing something in there, he's not going to open the door just yet. Shit. He's just going to start. Hmm? Apparently, there's supposed to be demon dogs in that in that temple. Well, ah, well. There is at least one demon dog there. Things that we should have known. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Whatever. I, 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 I took it over for a dance hall. It was going to be a strip club, but... So Vadim is actually going to start listening at these doors since he's finding out that these rooms are, in fact, occupied. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'll make secondary perception rolls if you want. Uh, this one's em this one is empty. You could tell there's no no sound coming from it. You hear this guy. Let's see here. Uh, no one in here. Okay. And no one in here. But, wait. Let me check the other door real quick. That one is D5. Oh, God. And no one like in here. So, just this guy. Oh, no, I, I just realized whose bedchambers these were. All right. And apparently there's, so, uh, there's a nice set of lacy panties right here. Yeah. Delicious. All right, so we're going to start... Did you say delicious? In a counterclockwise direction with the rooms that it, Vadim is not hearing sounds from. Okay. So you said the door to the south wasn't locked? Uh, they're Yeah, they're not locked. All right, in we go. This this bedroom has a faint, musty odor. The bed is covered with matted gray and black hair and bloodstains mar the stone floor. While a morbid stack of bird's feet lies heaped on the floor on the, by the side of the bed. No kind of drawers, chests, anything like that? No. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, okay, this was pretty much useless then. No information here. Move on. Check the door to the south. You're good. While this bedroom is clean and brightly lit by an ever-burning torch lying on the nightstand, the room's spartan decor makes it unclear if it's actually lived in. In the bag, the torch goes. <laughs> You're just like, torch. Put it in a bag. And, uh, looks through for anything else. Nah, just the torch was in here. As it states, Spartan decor. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Door to the north. 
unlocked. <coughs> You're not going to believe whose room this is. Mm -hmm. As you see a wall-sized <laughs> portrait of Suto. Huh. The room is clean and well organized. A low dresser to the southwest has a stack of paper sitting atop it, weighed down by a large chunk of obsidian, while to the northwest sits a well made bed. And right in front of you, right here, is a portrait. Uh huh. Detect magic. And one sec, one sec. Um, no, nah, nothing here. Hmm. Uh, he's going to take a quick look through the papers. Well, that's a nice chunk of obsidian, too. Fuck it, in the bag. <laughs> and uh, pretty much going through these notes, nothing new. You already, look through the drawers. You, know, you already know about the catacombs of wrath. You already know about the uh, glass works. You know about him killing his father. Yep. Go into the drawers. You find socks, underwear. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice vest. Yeah. Has gold thread on it. Mm. Ooh. It's not really me, me, me. Vadim senses say, state it's worth 200 gold. Yeah, in the bag. <laughs> it's like you gotta give him an incentive. It's worth something. I mean, it's a thread. I mean, it's just... Fuck it. Thanks for, this. Thanks for the follow, buddy. And the door at the end of the hall. All right. The large chamber seems to have a serve a dual purpose. To the north is a fine bed with silk sheets, while to the south a desk and chair, mahogany, under a hanging lantern, <laughs> make a comfortable living looking study. Hmm. Hmm. Just gonna take a look through the desk. Um. Looking through the desk, you're able to tell that the the person who lives in this room is probably by the name of Nualia. All right. You realize that she does not walk around with panties. Whatever. Delicious. Also realize those are nice silk sheets. Even more delicious. Fuck it, in the bag they go. Put it in the bag. Oh, look. A pillow of sleep. Oh, <laughs> In the bag it goes. This will come in handy to hit somebody over the head with every once in a while. <laughs> so sleep doesn't recover health, does it? I don't think so. It should. It's like rest. You gain a you gain a d10 worth of worth of health for every round you sleep. Okay. Round. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not gonna be that mm -hmm. type. It's not gonna be that type of not not that type of sleep. But yeah, so close. that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it in this room. No new information on what they're trying to do here. Hmm. Nope. I mean, you, you could go. Huh. This guy found Magnamar 
No, this guy found Sandpoint to be friendly and charming. <laughs> Wait, who did? Oric. You are full of shit, sir. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's see here. Since one on his one visit to the town on his way south to Sandpoint, no, wait, south to Magnamar, he, like, he was in Sandpoint, he was going to Magnamar, he found the place friendly and charming. Guess he wasn't there on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Vadim Vadim gets this knowledge in his head. Or he could be screwed up. Just be, just because I want to see Vadim just burst through the door going, You are full of shit! Internal screaming. No. This will not stand. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Fuck this. As Ogdar comes around the corner, you see Vadim walk through a door. <laughs> Damn it, Vadim, okay. I told you to put... Okay. To, I told you to turn off no clip. Daddy! No, he opens it first. Oh, okay. Ogdar He's announces okay. his presence. Orc looks up like halfway through a bite of bread. Wait a minute. Charming? <laughs> what is your malfunction? <laughs> What's your major malfunction, numbnuts? Ogdar steps into the room with the yelling man and the dude eating the bread. <laughs> what? What? Oh. What just happened? I just oh. burned a bunch of goblins and now we're here? What? <laughs> or, or it's just looking at Vadim, quirking a brow, bread still in mouth. Right. Vadim takes a second to compose himself. <laughs> the fuck? That place is not charming! The place... What are you doing down here with a tribe of goblins, anyway? Uh, he kind of motions to stack of papers on table. Oh, well, I can't read. He's, I can, shut up. That was easier than I thought it would be. All right, he looks through the papers. It's a mercenary contract. For how much? Uh, give me one sec. I don't think they actually give that information, but... Fuck it, 500 gold. Uh, really? Yeah. Hey, Zarek, can I roll sense motive on work and ask him a question? No, 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 no. 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 Shh. Before you even do that. Vadim reaches into the bag of holding. Drops a bag of 600 on the table. You want to work for us instead? Only 600? That's still more than he was making before. To be fair, I would work for us. That'd be 100 more. It's not much of a profit. Well, considering he's already been paid for the 500, he's, he's just making 600 more. <laughs> yep. I mean, he, if he wants to be difficult about it, then Vadim grumbles. Yeah. Fine. Sets a gold bar next to it. <laughs> He still has the bread in his mouth and he's looking at Vadim. Looks to <laughs> Olgar. Shrugs, takes the bar, takes the bag, puts him, puts him over, puts the bread on the table. What the fuck you want to know? I like this guy. <laughs> what are they trying to do here? 
Um, I'm hired help. Do you think they? Do you think they tell me that import that type of information? I'm sure you would have picked something up in the time that you've worked here. Um, let's see here. Um, Oric hasn't explored much of the dungeon here and can say nothing about areas D7 through D9, except that there's some kind of Wrigley monster in there. Uh, D7, D9, D7, D9, D7, D9. Uh, I'll take a D. To, to please don't tell me it's. Please don't tell me it's the area with all the burnt goblins. No, that one. Good. It's uh over here. Oh, oh okay. Um, so would it be okay if I sense motive while he speaks? He's talk right? He's basically talking about the cave area. You can go ahead and do what you want, man. He's talking about the cave areas here, saying that there's something oh. wriggly in there. And out. Ogdar raises an eyebrow, looking at the man. Everyone His is voice growing. Roll, raising an eyebrow as uh, his voice goes from his brainy and stupid voice to his normal voice. Anyway, but areas is there any? D9 through D10 or any of the chambers on level 2, he has no idea about. But he does tell you that the lower level is actually older than this level. Mm. You you piece that together. Yeah. He's only been to the Temple of Lamash 2 once. I will give you a fucking guess. Uh, enough oh, I to, wonder where. Enough to know that he doesn't want to go back if he can help it. That religion kind of gives him the chills. Yeah, okay. that doesn't surprise me one bit. So I'm sensing his motives while he tells us all this information. See if he's lying about it. Is that enough to clear? He, he, it, he got I paid. just paid a mercenary. He's not going to lie to us. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, he. I, hey, I'm treating this guy like trusty patches, man. He's like, he's he could have us killed and just loot our bodies. Um, let's see here. I think he, he recognizes when he's outnumbered and been given money. I know, There's right? two of us. There could be like ten of them in the other room. I mean, think Three. like all I would think. Four. But here, he talks of five. Talk. Five, and I could make more if we need them. Yeah. He talks about Bruth. Bruth Osmos. Bruth Osmos? A uh, bugbear ranger. He's currently sleeping in D2. Uh, D2, D2, D2. Yo. The, mm. he, like, he points to the wall next to him going, he's currently sleeping in there. He's a, ra a bugbear ranger. Give him food. He'll be happy. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. His... No, no, actually, yeah, he can surrender too, so yeah. Yeah, he tells you give like tell you tell him give him food, everything like that. If you have to slap him upside the head a few times, go ahead and do it. And then he talks about a woman named Leary, which is that the magic user we were told about? Uh, yes, human, female, wizard. No panties. No. No, no. No, that's Bob. someone else. Maybe. I don't know. She wears a loincloth. <laughs> uh, let's see. She usually... She has... Eh, she, I've only seen her cast things like uh, Burning Hands, Major Armor, Shatter, Mirror Image. Nothing, nothing more. Never seen a fireball out of her ass. Usually carries around... Usually carry, carries around a Wanda missile, though. So be careful of that. Eh. Shield spell will take care of that nicely. And uh, then, oh, she also carries around lots and lots and lots of scrolls. Of course she does. God. She has a she has a thing for ever burning torches too. 
Oh. <coughs> you don't say. Ogdar looks down at Ogdar looks down at his ever burning torch and puts it, and then puts it in his sack. Um, I'm I'm going to say this. He kind of gives a weird look and says that she has a pouch of like finger quotes artifacts that she took from Suto. Hair, right. fingernail clippings, used handkerchiefs, pearl earring. Ew. Ew. Gross. Not another kitty. So, okay, so he's not lying at all. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so there's a bugbear ranger on the on over here, right? No, other wall. Over here. Oh, other wall. Oh, okay. Seeing as how the arrow was over here. Sorry, I, I thought I didn't realize you're pointing an arrow anywhere. So you watch it. I'm in that line of fire. Well, good news. Well, good news for us is that uh, <laughs> you done yet? Uh, good news for us is that uh, <laughs> Oric doesn't seem to be lying, considering that we did pay him and everything. So good news. He goes back to his breakfast. I'm assuming. Oh, um, he does offer his uh, stuff if you want it. Well, Ogdar immediately takes up the opportunity and takes the stuff he offers. Um, potion of cure moderate wounds. Yoink. Uh, ever burning torch. Double yoink. He keeps his gold. Well. Um. Can I, can I intimidate some of that gold back? Nope. No. No. I'm sad. Don't be um, dumb. Anyone here use shields by any chance? Uh, <laughs> ew. Okay, so his uh, bastard sword and his uh, heavy shield won't be of any use to anyone. I'll ooh, take the bastard ooh, sword. Ooh, bastard sword. Uh, actually, I'll take the shield then if you want the bastard sword. I mean, it's loot to sell, so... Well, well, here's the thing. If you're going to sell it, he's not going to give it to you. Well, he's not going to know that it's going to be sold, so... Yeah. Well, you... Don't... Fine, you know. fine. No. If, if it's a genuinely good bastard sword, I, I would take he it and use it. He knows. That was a sense motive? What? He's a mercenary. What the fuck do you think? Through that. Got it. Jesus Christ. Vadim, Vadim says, listen, if you're ever looking for a line of work with a bunch of people that aren't trying to do something to raise some kind of dark gods and probably destroy existence as we know it. I mean, we just killed one earlier. Let us know, because the people you were working for got some news for you. They ain't doing some great stuff. And they're dead, Ogdar says. Informing no, the they're not. Eh. I'll go wait for you guys in Sandpoint. That place is charming. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure to join you there. I did hear that, all, that uh, Sandpoint is indeed very endearing. Very nice place. He wipes the, some blood from under his nose. I hear there's this place called the Rusty Dragon that sells cherry coke. I'm ex ah! I'll meet you there or once we get back. Yeah, the Rusty Dragon is alright, but for the love of God, do not call that place charming. Ever. You uh, probably here's... Okay, okay. It's a very lovely place. I, just... when I, did, I like this guy. When did you when did you pass through there? When were you there before you came here? Oh, Dar steps out of the room to let Vadim have his bitch moment. <laughs> Week and a half ago? On what day? Vadim just throws up his hands and walks out. <laughs> On second thought, 
after he closes the door and starts walking down the hallway, the second thought, maybe I don't want that guy working for us. He's obviously insane. But or, we're all or, insane or, here. That's the Vadim. thing. Or Vadim. Hmm? He rolled a 36 on a sense motive and knew exactly how to push your buttons. Oh, Dar goes, oh, Dar takes, goes back over, looks through the door and says, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> kind of along the lines of he knew how to get Vadim's goat. Vadim reaches into his pocket. Or into his bag of holding and drums his fingers against the pillow, weighing just how badly the fuck he wants to hit somebody with it. Ogdar <laughs> looks over at Orc. You're hired. He, yes, since he won't Ogdar, be giving me the hit, yes. You hear Vadim call you. Yes. Yes, you do. Ogdar goes over. Yeah, what do you need? Okay, see, so if he if he attacks me with the pillow, I'm gonna can I make a fortitude check? Uh yeah, it's gonna be a fortitude save, don't worry. I figured. Yeah, you you just see Vadim reach into his bag of holding, pull out a pillow, and smack you across the face with it and stick it back in the bag. It it feels very lovely. It's like made out of goose down, it has a silk pillowcase on it. It makes you feel really, really sleepy. Ogdar, you're out like a light. Yes! Ogdar, Ogdar <laughs> passes out and just uh, lays on the ground. I'm just going to take a nap for a little bit. You do that. So how many turns is it? Eight? Uh, hold up. I've been just looks to Ogdar's body, just like kind of just fall over. And then she looks at Vadim. Uh, you know, you're, we're going to have to drag his ass out. You're going to be asleep for 15 rounds. He can take a nap here for a little bit. It's okay. I took. I, I also took a normal pillow. He puts a normal pillow under Algar's head. <laughs> it just looks at Ipin and says, shh, 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 wait, wait. You hear that? Why? <laughs> I don't care. He's not talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> to be honest, this is great. Thank you, Zarek, for peace and placing that, and thank you, Vic, for using it. Oh, oh it's going to be used every time you start to annoy I'm gonna, me. I'm going to take that pillow, motherfucker. You try. I will try. <laughs> hey. uh, Douglas, you were saying something? Yeah, so what was that bastard sword on shield? Oh, um... Uh... If, if it's better than what I've got, I will I will use it. So uh, Orc's hired, right? Let's... He's he's coming with us. Uh, no, he's, he's gonna meet, he'll meet, he'll meet you in Sandpoint. Uh, oh, Doug, right. what type of shield do you have, Douglas? I don't have a shield. Okay, so this is currently better than your current shield. <laughs> hey. uh, okay. It's a. Shut the fuck up, Blackstoneys! I don't want your opinion here. Uh, it is a heavy steel shield of um, floaty in your hand magicalness of powerful floaty in my hand magicalness or a little bit floaty in my hand magicalness moderate I'm just I'm trying not to lie to you if that makes sense so I'm just working out whether I'd use it or uh, it's like moderate magic. Then honestly, I probably wouldn't use it, so that's unfair for me to say I would. Uh, and with the bastard sword, it would have to be better than the plus two cook, plus two speedy cookery. It's a bastard sword. Even if you, even with the two damage rolls, the bastard sword would still be better. Well, here's the thing, Douglas. You have no idea what magical enchantments are on the shield. What about the sword? Well, I would. You could ask. Okay, I'll ask the guy. Hi. Uh, so, uh, how good? Just how sharp is your sword and shield? Or just how blunt is your shield? 
Uh, let's see here. The sword. Hi. The sword is an unholy, is an unholy speedy bastard sword. Plus two. Oh really? Plus two I unholy speed. Then I, I assume I would, assume I can pick that up. Then I would definitely use that. Yeah, you can pick it up. It's just that you have to use it with two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's fine. I, because uh, I want a two-handed weapon. Okay, and seeing as how you have a, uh, you have to use it with two hands. You can't like, do you like, do you really want the shield? Uh, that's why I was. That's why I uh, was asking, because I'd uh, to, so I'd only use it if I was fighting defensively. And how often do I fight defensively? Not true. <laughs> I mean, you could take it for Ganon. You might want a shield. Uh, Ganon doesn't use shields. He uses bows. Shh. He doesn't know what Ganon is. Then again, detect. Fuck it. It's that's not gonna even be gonna matter because <laughs> fucking detect motive times fucking twenty. God fuck. Yeah, this coming from the guy who's currently asleep for the next uh, thirteen rounds. Speaking of which, I sent you a thing on Skype. Yay or nay? No, you can if you want to. You could even. Uh... Okay. <laughs> well. What Ogdar is gonna do is your sleep is stand up. Yet his eyes are still closed as his hands wander about to find where he is. You okay, notice that he's sleepwalking. Oh well, is he, is he, is he, is he sleepwalking? Okay, fuck it. And then like, he can sleepwalk into my fist. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a fair fight. Like, Roll into this. I like, I like Lex, take the Night Lib. Good night, Lib. Night, Lib. Uh, Lex only says bring up a good point there, Zarek. Does the pillow of sleep render the target <laughs> unconscious and incapable of waking up even if injured? Because he could totally use it to punch people through. Nah, it's it's a pillow of sleep. They're they're asleep. They can't wake up. Oh, oh dark. Oh, dark. But steps they over but they heal D10 every round. Oh, wait a minute. So yeah, Ogdor is back to forty health. He's happy. Yeah. Even though he's asleep, Ogdor slowly walks over to Vadim and Ipin, <clears throat> not yeah. saying a word. What the fuck? Ogdor cracks do? his knuckles. Silent as a no silent as a mouse says he doesn't say a single word. But he seems more determined than ever to for battle. What what Fatim, what did you do? I didn't realize he was even an idiot when he was asleep. Less of an idiot than a person who decides I have to swing a pillow at someone, Ogdar said. Yes, even he can even sleep talk. Can 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 this actually happen? That's kind uh, of GM breaking. said yes. It's kind of, sleep talking is kind of breaking the bounds of. GM said yes. People Jesus. talk. People talk in their sleep. Uh, I never. Talk in their sleep. I never like what he. That's what he thinks he says. What you hear is, check. Mm, Cook mahogany door illustrated. Yes. Is he, t- is he, t- is he talking in his sleep? Okay, in that case, hey dude, what's the most embarrassing secret you've got? Something that would cause you to, uh, something I can blackmail you over. I fucked a door. I, I secretly think Sandpoint is a lovely place. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm on the verge of rolling a will save to keep from turning into but, Dream Scar here. But in actuality, all he hears is law, orc, law, mahogany, law, door fucking law. Same point. Oh, lovely. Ah, that, that's all you hear. 
Well, that's fair. Well, that's enough to be like, oh. Right. Vadim looks down the hallway. Raggy, keep him in this room for me, please. I'm going to look around in some other areas to make sure there's nothing else that's going to catch us by surprise before we go to wherever I'm assuming we're going to need to go. Ruby says, woof. I'm going to put some foot on him. Okay, just, so... Fucking, just fucking sits on him. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> woof. Oh! Strength check. Ogdar picks up Ruby. What? Oh. No. Uh... No, I don't think he does. Uh, yes. Off ground is 520 pounds. He might be strong enough to. How much does a cow weigh? Generally. About 400 to 500 pounds. They weigh less than a ton, I know that for a fact. Uh, male, uh, 1.1 ton. Female, 720 kilograms. So, uh, between 1,400 and 2,400 uh, uh, pounds. Cows don't weigh that much. Yes, they do. Let me look this up. They do. Well, Jesus. You might that's a fat fuck. If you... If you rage, I'm sure you can lift that, can't you? Uh, she could push drag it. Oh, there you go. That's dope. Push drag would be enough to move so, him. So, um. <sighs> For those of you about ready to go into D2, I just read what this place is. <laughs> but Dean's gonna kill me. What is it? Vadim, roll a roll perception check. You smell really bad perfume and vinegar. <laughs> it's a fucking whorehouse. Oh, rotten flowers. Don't get the rotten flowers. Where? Wait. Uh. No, stop it, cat. <clears throat> oh, crap, people were talking to me. Sorry. Forgive us, folks. Currently, three of us are having a... Uh, so... Yes, who wants to open up the door to D D2? All guard pushes Ruby off of him and just steps over in the corner and leans on the wall. Okay. Good, Vic. No, mm -hmm. only, only in select circumstances, contracts and the sort. Da, 
Uh, none of you are elves, right? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, so, yeah, who wants to go in? You could always just send, you you could always just send in the sleeping orc. Yeah. 